Hi, welcome once again and you are watching series of videos on uh, the recently declared exam that is Airport Authority of India and uh, we are giving you the gist of most important topics which can be asked in Airport Authority of India exam and today my lecture is related to what we know as journal principle of business management so where is this topic coming uh, you know there are five different seats which are declared in 2020 uh, in airport authority of india exam and uh, the two most uh, actually uh, important of such uh, uh, declaration of these seats are in the category of junior executive air traffic control atc in which you have uh, more than 250 uh, seats 264 four, and then junior executive airport operation you know so all categories of student can write this exam and this journal uh, principles of business administration or management are actually related to airport operation domain why because you see that there is a criteria of management of two years and uh, btech people can also write it but yes if you're graduating in science you should have mba of two years that is what is required so uh, for that actually there is a requirement of this particular topic so if I go for 2018 uh, declaration of uh, advertisement then there were two parts in airport operation job one part was part A part B part A was largely non-technical part B was related to educational qualification now what is educational qualification of airport operation is this engineering or uh, it can be uh, related to uh, science and MBA, you know, uh, related to that. So in educational qualification, part A, obviously, uh, if I talk about part A, there is also aviation related topics in part A, which comprise 20% of part A. That means 10% of entire syllabus. This is 10% of entire syllabus. In this case, maths and physics will come. And this is also 10% of the entire syllabus is principle of business management. So if I add this 10% and if I add this 10%, then out of total 100% syllabus, 20% syllabus is these two topics. And believe me, <coughs> competition is huge. Even 1, 1, 2, 2 mark will matter. So 20% uh, of entire syllabus, uh, 120, man ke chalo, 24, 25 marks, uh, aapke jo questions hain, they will be from these two topics. And they are very, very easy topic. Believe me, they are very easy topic. But at the same time, you need to find out, you need to identify uh, from where you have to do it. They are very huge topic also. Everything, I mean, principle of business uh, management is a huge topic, you know. So that is how uh, you need to very meticulously prepare for that. Now today, uh, in this particular uh, general principle of business management for operation, uh, airport operation job, I have come today to discuss with you uh, something which is called grapevine communication. That is a part of communication. General principle of business administration or business management in that i am going to discuss with you today a topic which is basically grape wine communication which comes under the communication so in airport operation there is a topic uh, communication and in uh, this uh, uh, airport operation there is a, a requirement of general principle of business management and in business management one of the general principle most important principle is communication and in communication grape wine communication is the topic from where Previously also questions were asked and this is one of the most important topic in from where you can expect the question. So this is something which I am going to discuss with you today. Now, now uh, let's talk about communication. I, I will be covering communication differently as a topic. I will be covering this communication topic in detail. But today's lecture is related to grapevine. It's very, very interesting also. So communication, there are many different ways I, I can divide communication. Formal communication, informal communication. Formal communication, when you drop a mail to somebody, you write a paper or formal meetings are there, recorded meetings are there, that is called formal communication. And then uh, informal communication is also there. And there's a vertical, horizontal and diagonal communication. What is vertical? When you talk to higher hierarchy or lower hierarchy, hierarchy may difference. Horizontal, apne colleague se saath baat karna, same level pe baat karna. Diagonal, that means you are in different department and somebody else is in different department, but at the same level. So diagonally, you can talk about that I will discuss later on. And then oral, written, gesture, gesture, ke saath, jase aapne kiya, okay, this, what is this? Gesture only. This is gesture only. You are not speaking, you are not writing. So, aapka communication ke alag -alag means ho sakte not very important topic. Yes, vertical and horizontal communication, I will be covering differently. I will come back to that part and we will discuss merits, demerits and everything about that. Let's come to now 
अवर टॉपिक टूडे ग्रेप वाइन ग्रेप तो तुम्हें पता है वाइन भी तुम्हें पता है ग्रेप वाइन कम्युनिकेशन होता क्या है ओके okay. पहली बात यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक पॉइंट्स इन दीज काइंड ऑफ टॉपिक्स यू नो इट इज इनफॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशन इट इज नॉट अ फॉर्मल कम्बिनेशन इट इज इनफॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशन इट इज कैजुअल इनफॉर्मल अनऑफिशियल सिस्टम कैजुअल इनफॉर्मल अनऑफिशियल रिमेंबर दीज वर्ड्स जो आप बातें करते हो ऑफिस में चाय पे लंच पे बैठ के चलते फिरते ऑफिस में जो बातें करते हो र्यूमर जिससे होते हैं यार तूने सुना ऐसा चल रहा है आजकल तूने सुना ये हो रहा है मैंने तो सुना ये हो रहा है मैंने तो सुना ये हो रहा है कहां से सुना यू डोंट नो मैंने सुना है समबडी टोल्ड मी हु इज दैट समबडी नो बडी नोज सो वो गॉसिप्स वो र्यूमर इज कॉल्ड ग्रेप वाइन तो गुड और बैड गुड और बैड आंसर इज बोथ गुड एंड बैड वी विल सी दैट इट इज गुड इट इज बैड ऑल्सो इट शुड बी देयर आई मीन यू कैन नॉट अवॉइड इट इफ देर आर ह्यूमन बींग यू कांट अवॉइड इट देर नॉट कंप्यूटर्स ह्यूमन बींग आर वर्किंग इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड यू कांट अवॉइड इट so this is good also this is bad also but yes it is informal it is casual it is an official system you know when you have lunch with your friends when you go for tea with your friends then you uh, basically have conversation and this is uh, normally it is related to work only and it is unofficial and this is largely on the basis of personal relations or personal talks when you are having some kind of personal relation with somebody then you go for these kind of communications which are part of your grape wine so you need to remember these terms these terms are very very important right now from where this name came grape wine uh, from where this name grape wine came you know it is like a uh, grape wine which is uh, there are two things in here smell will grow fragrance will go everywhere so the news rumor will spread everywhere you can't stop it it will spread everywhere and spread very fast agar if there is some kind of rumor are did you listen that did you hear this is going on this is happening did you listen to that so this will spread everywhere up vertically horizontally diagonally everywhere it will spread and second is uh, you know you, nobody knows the origin like grape wine you don't know the origin from where that came so similarly you do not know who said that sir somebody was saying that who somebody i don't know sir, but somebody was saying that because there is no proof so why it is called grape wine because it spreads everywhere and nobody knows the origin that is a uh, uh, basically meaning of it so it is informal uh, communication unorganized unofficial formal channels fail to do work properly some smart people spread rumors false and irresponsible statements half truth in all direction it is grape wine channel so you know half truth that is not a truth half truth irresponsible nobody takes responsibility false rumors this is the grape wine you know and this is called grape wine channel and it is always there in the organization it spreads very fast in all the directions as the wine of grape spreads and grape wine the source of grape wine information nobody knows this is the reason why it is called grape wine now let's go forward you know grape wine communication as i told you it is one of the informal communication it spreads very fast that is number one you should know source of secret information you know and normally it is a horizontal communication that means you will never go to your boss and spread rumor to your boss or to some another department normally you will chat with your friends which is a horizontal communication so normally but it spreads everywhere so it spreads vertically also and diagonally also but yes normally when you talk to somebody it is a horizontal communication normally so it is a horizontal communication which takes place within a group and a person of equal status you know within a group and person of equal status only it is spread it is integral part of communication system and highly sensitive channel it is boon as well as curse it is boon as well as curse it can be good it can be bad as i told you it can be good it can be bad you can't avoid sometime when you want to uh, spread some news or information it spreads very fast you know it spreads very fast there is no formal way formal way may take time but then you want to get work done fast so there is advantages also we'll see the advantages also of grape wine system let's go and find some more things it is unstructured yes it is not structured it is informal way it is formed on social relationship that rather than on organizational chart this is a social relationship are the main reason for this it is informal vehicle through which the message will flow throughout the organization it is called so because it stretches throughout the organization in all the directions so it will stretch out in all the directions and this term originated in 1860s during american war so that was the origin uh, of this grape wine communication now this is the 
basically slide which is very very important i have summarized many things in this so whatever we learned is grapevine is informal communication operates both internal and external in informal channels that means internal external means even if there is a, some service provided to the organization bahar wala aadmi bhi aapko grapevine spread kar sakta hai it is not that only within the organization it can be outside the organization also somebody who is outside the organization might also tell you something related to this particular thing so that is how it goes it is found in all organization does not follow any uh, determined rule or spread the information very very fast so fast spread of information is there and it flows all the direction and governed by social and personal relationship rather than officially recognized rules yes it passes opinion suspicion rumors it spreads everywhere grapevine is a horizontal communication normally it does not follow any set pattern you know uh, it effectively operates in all the directions but yes horizontal is more you know it is uh, basically a person to person communication it uh, flows in all the direction but normally it is person to person uh, in informal way of communication like if i am talking to somebody i will tell him somebody that somebody will tell somebody else this is how it keeps on spreading now types of grapevine communication also the names are important you should also name the no names uh, <clears throat> basically there are four names which you should know single strand gossip probability cluster chain so what is the meaning of these four what is single strand what is gossip what is probability and what is cluster chain single strand means one person telling another person and it spreads i told him he told single strand only single thread i told him he told him he told him something like that i hope you understood gossip chain you know one person is a center of gossip he is only spreading everywhere in the single strand i told him my job is over then he told him his job is over but in the single gossip chain there is a single person who is the epicenter center of the wheel it is also called wheel form of communication he is the center of the wheel and he is spreading everywhere right probability chain is randomly you know a uh, random pattern of sharing information uh, there is no spreading nobody is spreading it but randomly it is going so it may be that one person told one day to 10 people then next day he is not telling anybody and then one fellow is telling to another fellow so random basically spread i do not know how it is spreading there is no pattern random pattern right and cluster chain is basically i want to tell the information but only to select a group i have a selected group of five people i will tell to those people single strand mein kya hai? i told one fellow whom i came across and then he told next fellow something like that in the wheel i am center and i am hell bent on spreading information in probability there is no pattern and in the cluster there is a group to which i will tell you know they all sit together so they told one another these are the four basically types of this now we come to advantage disadvantage part you know it is advantage is very fast and if i want to send the message very very fast formal communication may take days okay you drop a mail you put a, you type something a letter then you uh, send me in the written form suppose uh, uh, these things are there then it will delay the process you know if i say you want this then write a letter to me writing letter will take some time for you right so grapevine is very fast so that is the advantage it provides the feedback to the management you know grapevine is a very good source of information for the person who is sitting at the top he knows what is happening he knows what is going on and it becomes the source of information for him so the person who is sitting at the top for him it is a very very good source of information what is the disadvantage you know it is uh, rumors are not good it spreads the negativity it spreads the rumors or false information which is not good actually that is something which is not good <clears throat> details of messages are lost you know uh, you are spreading uh, information but that is half truth so sometime when the message reaches somewhere it is totally distorted so that is the disadvantage part of this again i will discuss in couple of slides advantage disadvantage advantage is it is very rapid multi directional like the uh, you know like uh, mm, uh, fragrance it will spread very fast in all the direction sometime it is used to resolve the conflict it is used to resolve the conflict sometime you know it also is uh, anxiety worry frustration nikalne ka ek tarika so sometime when i am spreading something against somebody to maine apni frustration nikal di so if you restrict human being not to spread the rumors or not to go for informal chatting that will be creating anxiety in their mind so in the organization you need to allow people to talk informally also 
not only formal communication informally also you have to allow people to talk so these are the advantages associated with this other advantages feedback you get as i told you group cohesiveness yes emotional support and group cohesiveness you know when you talk these things in a group then there's a group embeddedness group cohesiveness there's a cohesiveness among the groups and that gives you emotional support also that is how the advantage is and uh, you know this uh, uh, this is sometimes substitute for the formal channel of communication also sometime formal channel is blocked formal channel is not working so uh, informal channels become very very effective source of information so uh, another advantages are grievance redressal yes sometimes you can express your opinion or feelings to others without any kind of hesitation and then that gives you grievance addressal for example you told your colleague yeah i am very irritated my boss is irritating me a lot this is the problem i am facing and you were close to your boss and you told him that he is very very irritated he is very frustrated boss asked you is everything going okay sir everything is going okay but that fellow is very very irritated so that will help you to resolve the problem also relationship improve yes when you talk like this uh, on the tea or on the lunch you know why you sit together and have tea why you have lunch together what is the reason for that reason for that is because you want that relation should should improve that is the reason you go for this efficiency will increase because feedback is there you know and improves the efficiency of the employees also as i told you employees will not be under any kind of uh, i'll say frustration or pressure or tension if you allow them to talk informally in the groups and they think that okay they are associated with some group so that particular thing improves that is good for organization also so in the exam very simple question is going to come not difficult question whatever information i'm giving you that is more than sufficient i'll send you this entire ppt in the whatsapp group which we have created don't worry don't need you not to write about that but just understand if you understand it this uh, very easily you can go for that okay so what are the disadvantages of grave wine communication now uh, unconfirmed message is seriously taken you know unconfirmed message does not supplement a confirmed message so unconfirmed message uh, the message which is not confirmed sometimes that is taken seriously you know rumor is also sometimes taken seriously and that can be damaging because it is rumor it is not correct information but still it is taken seriously so that is something which is not good unconfirmed report uh, may basically spoil the authenticity of the uh, message which is uh, basically uh, authority wants to supply <clears throat> sometime you know even the secrecy is compromised sometime the informal way of communication spoils everything organization does not want that people should know this but people get to know about that sometime organization is thinking of something else and uh, entire situation is uh, you know uh, gets lost entire in situation is uh, wrong we have just seen that what is happening in us elections uh, are we sure that us elections were rigged elections as uh, president trump is saying that elections may our votes were stolen now what is this is there any proof for that that votes were stolen no but on the basis of these rumors what happened grape wine twitter ke upar uh, president uh, trump ne kuch message dale and some group of people attacked even the capital you know uh, their congress uh, building so that that is something which can be distorting so information which is spread it is it spread is fast this information is spread fast but yes that can be damaging because without any authenticity you spread these things there is a risk of misunderstanding yes so it can create some kind of misunderstanding between employees and authorities and organizations and there is no set rule basically uh, which are followed in this and hence it is difficult to control such information so as i was giving you example of uh, president trump that he started spreading this information that okay elections are uh, uh, our votes were stolen rigged elections were there so uh, twitter facebook all the instagram all these uh, social media uh, blogged president trump's uh, these uh, ids you know so all these accounts were blocked why because they uh, the information should not go to majority of people otherwise they will start creating some kind of violent activities so this is how it is difficult to control also let's see this slide now what are the merits it is quick it is interesting resolution without conflict self motivating it is a gateway to anxiety anger and it is mirror of reality if people have started speaking something that means there is some reality demerits it can be damaging at times not authentic it is not reliable it is irresponsible it thrives on the opinion not factual and it gives some kind of shape to some kind of datas and uh, facts 
but is grapevine communication important yes it is important you know it transmits certain messages that cannot otherwise be transmitted through formal means it is a informal way to transfer the informal way to spread the messages but you know it is required it is required to do that why because uh, it helps it is required because uh, it sometimes formal ways of communications are not uh, followed they are not working so it is required whenever information needs to be quickly sent this is sent actually through this grapevine accelerates the feedback process also if used wisely grapevine communication can provide valuable feedback to the management right so feedback is also given uh, you know grapevine communication can promote efficient functioning of the organization that is what we have discussed already that it helps people it uh, uh, gives people the comfort it gives people the confidence group embeddedness emotional stability emotional uh, um, group uh, their uh, attachment to other groups so it increases the efficiency also so i hope you have understood a little bit about uh, what we discussed in grapevine and as i told you this is one of the important topic which we study in principle of business management they are very very simple topic not difficult but you need to cover it because from here 25 20 percent of entire syllabus in your exam is from these topics which are new to majority of you you should prepare them very good because every mark will count i hope you enjoyed the lecture i'll keep on taking such more lectures for airport authority of india exam and uh, 14th january is the last date of the filling the form i hope you have filled the form just fill it up they are good jobs all the best we'll blast it thank you